This video will show you how you can connect your HP laptop to the second monitor you were provided. Let's take a look at the docking station and how to connect the cables. Here's the docking station. I have the USB-C cable that came with the monitor. And the docking station has one cable that's connected to it that connects to the side of your PC. Using this cable, you're going to want to plug it in to the port right above that cable. You can see it's connected. The other end, looks the same, is going to connect on the bottom of your monitor on the left hand side. You see you have two ports, you want to do the one on the bottom. You can see it's already powering on. You'll get a message on your PC, and then you'll see that both of them are the same. So you can see this screen and this screen are identical, with the exception of the color. But it has the same icons on the left as it does on the right. So this is what is called mirroring. You actually want to extend so you have the ability to see different things on the PC than on the second monitor. I'm going to switch devices and show you on your PC how you can change the settings so that you can see different items on each screen. On your laptop, in the search bar, type in display. Click on display settings. You want to scroll down till you get to multiple displays. You want to use the drop down arrow to extend these displays. Keep the changes. Scroll back up to the top and you will see two monitors. One is the one that you're on and two is your extended one. If you choose to have your extended monitor on the right hand side, you can click this and drag it so that your extended monitor will be on the right hand side. I have mine set up on the left hand side, so I'm going to move it to the left and click apply. You can now see that my monitors are displaying different items. On the right hand side, you can see the display settings, and on the left hand side is just a blank window. So now I'm going to show you how you can move a window from the right hand side to your extended monitor. On this screen you can see I have a Meet open. My students would be here with me. And I have a slides presentation that I want to share with my students. I want to move my Meet to my extended monitor. So the easiest way to do that is to right click with your mouse and move tab to another window and click new window. You can see here that I actually have two windows, one that I can move around. I can also move this one if I want to. But they are separate windows. So what I'm going to do is take this meat using the gray bar and holding down my mouse. I'm going to drag it to the left side. You can see it going off screen. What you can't see, and I'll show you in a minute, is that it's on the left hand side on the extended monitor. Let me show you how that looks with both monitors. So here you can see, again, I'm picking up the window and I'm slowly moving it over to the left and you can see it's being picked up on the extended monitor. I can drop that over there and it's good to go. If I choose to present, I can choose a Chrome tab and I'm going to pick my slides and save. And now this tab is being shared with my students in the meet over here. I can present as I normally would. And I have full screen here as well as full screen access to my students over here. Remember when you share a Chrome tab and you switch to a new tab, make sure you click Share this tab instead so that your students will see this tab. If you go back to your presentation, share this tab instead. 
you'll know which tab you're sharing because you will see a blue box, very light blue box around the perimeter of the screen you're sharing. It may be easier to see it over here. There, you can see it better. My students don't see that I have two screens. This is just a convenience for me so I can have my students over here and my presentation or whatever material I'm sharing with my students over here. Other ways that you can use the extended monitor, I can move this tab over here and I can use this to monitor my Gmail. I have full access to add additional tabs here as well as here. This will allow me to perhaps have my Google Classroom on one screen and any content I'm searching for on this screen. The external monitor does have some settings that you can change. Using the button on the lower left, press it once. You can see that each menu item is indicated with either a triangle or circle. Pushing it in or right, left, up, down will get you to those menu items. So if I press inward, I get to the first menu item, which is splendid. Pushing the button to the right will show me the different modes. You'll notice the monitor color scheme changes based on the selection. You also have options that include blue light filters, color, where you can adjust your brightness and your contrast, an image, input select, which is your type C, some system setups. You can create shortcuts as well as make favorites. Pressing to the left will turn the menu off. What you also need to know is that this screen comes with a stylus. One end is an actual pen, so don't use that on the screen. The other end with the soft tip can be used similar to your finger. Your extended monitor does have a speaker. If you want to ensure that the sound from a Google Meet is coming from your laptop, go to the Meet and Settings. Be sure your speakers are set to Realtek Audio as those are the speakers in your HP laptop. If you see anything that indicates MB 16 AMT USB audio, like these three here, those are the speakers in the extended monitor. So make sure your speakers are set here. If there's a problem with your participants hearing you, it may be because you have your doc cam connected, in which case it would show here. Make sure you're on microphone array Intel Smart Sound Technology. We'll cover that in the doc cam video.